about more than four feet. <laughs> We're back out at the water for another day of jumping. Another day out in the sun, having fun, jumping off stuff. Nice. Walking around on the north east, northeast side of Cosmo to the jungle. Chilling. We're not alone though. That's Dr. David Bake. And Dexter. Crazy dog running around here somewhere. Up <laughs> here. Dexter! <laughs> so we couldn't find the coffee that we liked. We ran out of it, or they ran out of it at Costco. So we found some local coffee that was all kind of good. We mixed them all together. We mixed one Blason Espresso, one Cafe La Finca Americano, and one Cafe La Finca Espresso. And those all mixed together make an excellent cup of coffee. This morning we're up bright and early to go look for seahorses. We just came out for a little barbecue in yet another beautiful place on Cozumel. Hi, Greg. Whoa, how's it going? Good. Wait, where did you go to school again? Oh, oh. we can't put you on the no huskies, no husky zone. That's ah, all right. You get a pass. It has been pouring down rain like a deluge here for the last week. Uh, since we're not on a tight timeline, we're not going touring in the pouring down rain. What have we been doing to stay busy? Uh, well, Kate's been taking the Spanish class. Oh, she's wonderful. It's a new Spanish teacher. Her name is Amanda, and uh, she's a taskmaster. She has this is what you need to do, this is okay, I, you have homework, and this is what I expect when you get back, and she goes over everything, and um, I've, uh, I can, my brain hurts afterwards, <laughs> but she's really good, I really like her. So what else do we do when it's raining? Well, gear reviews. So I've got these combat flip-flops, just like it sounds, combat flip-flops. It's a US veteran-owned company. Uh, this is the Tuk Tuk model. I've been wearing these things every day since September. Uh, and they are, they're amazing. Uh, they're leather, all leather. The, uh, the padding keeps up really well. I've been suggesting these to everybody I know, so now I'm throwing it out literally to probably everybody I know. But uh, they have held up so well. I, I can't keep any other flip flops or shoes for this long. And these are just getting to the point where I'm hard on shoes. And uh, the soles are starting to wear down a little bit, but Amazing. I'm, uh, I'm ordering another pair before we head off to Australia. Now for my long-awaited review on Turkish towels. I had been going along the beach trying to find them and then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to order one and when my sister came down, she brought it to me. 
So I did lots and lots of research on the Turkish towel and there's different types. Every manufacturer has a different one. Oh, and a disclaimer, we are not getting paid for this. We have no endorsements, but Infuse Zen is the company that I chose because I wanted a Turkish towel that they said was, was thin enough that I can put it around as a scarf or wear it where it's not gonna be too heavy. And some of them are really rough. This one is amazing. Love this Turkish towel. Many things that I've done with it, I go to the beach, lay it on the beach, normal. You, I put it over your sunshade. I use this as a cover up. Once you take a shower, it's great because it dries really fast and doesn't get that musty smell. It has not let me down at all. Um, I even got one from my husband. We've been using it. Hey, that's mine. <laughs> We've been using <laughs> that towel uh, as a window shade because in our room, the uh, they don't have a lot of shade. So when you have the lights on at night, people can see it. But his is thicker. It's longer. It's by the same company. Uh, it is a little rougher. Mine is more like a, a really soft cotton feel, but his is a little bit more terry cloth. If you are looking for something that's well-rounded and you're going to go backpacking or like we're going to go through Southeast Asia and we just have a little tiny backpack, uh, this is something I would highly recommend. Um, I use it all the time. I just wash it in the sink. I would say it's my number one favorite thing that's in my backpack. And with that, I would say goodbye. <laughs> If you like our video, click the thumbs up and subscribe over here.